Are you two waiting on me? You protecting my metal? Well, there's Miss Millie. Yeah, I'm gonna pet this head right here. Watch this. Millie can't stand it. She's doing her stretching. It's your stretch and groan. Yeah, you're doing your stretch and groan. They're good girls. All right, I gotta go take care of Waddles and, and, and yeah, you're stretching groan. Look at that tail going. You're a whole different dog than you was a year or two years ago. I know. All right, let's go take care of Waddles in his hands. Uh, let me get you girls some eggs. I know they got them. Ah, been having trouble with this door. I gotta dig out. I'm coming, bottles. Hang on. All right, let me get you all some scratch. Get you out of my way. Holy mackerel. I got some work to do, guys. Wow, they've been laying like crazy. Alright, I gotta gather these dudes up. These are fresh. Because I got them out yesterday, but I didn't look in there because they were sitting. I didn't think they were laying that big. Alright. Here, girl. You guys want an egg? Oh, Lily sees. Lily sees. I'll get you something else. You know what to do with an egg? Well, we'll have to show you. Come here. Where's your bowls? Come here, girls. Come here. Come here, Tilly. Tilly. Here, you got one. Oh, yeah, you remember eggs. We gave you eggs at Jeff's. Okay, I gotta get those eggs out of there. Wow. That's about two dozen eggs in there. These hens have not laid eggs in almost a year, so I, I never bothered to check. Figured they were done. These hens are 14 years old, guys. And they look healthy. Man, they are healthy. They're full of energy. Waddles, are you even walking better? I think you are. Yeah. Well, yep, now I know they're laying. I'll gather them every day, and I won't eat them, but I'll give them to the dogs. Uh, I don't want no 14-year-old hen eggs. I'm sure they're perfectly fine. The ones I cracked, I knew they were fresh because I just happened to see them, and I'm like, wow, they're laying again. But I didn't think that they were because they weren't setting them. Man, all right. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> That's a surprise. Wow. I'm going to get rid of them because I don't know how old they are. I know they're not fertile because he is not. He shoots blanks. Yeah, he's not right. So I know they're not. I know there's no babies in there. Uh, I'm going to get in there, do some more work today. Y'all want to come along? Come on. You seen me give them the eggs, didn't you? I know. I got you a milk bone chew that a subscriber sent. Yeah, every once in a while we get a package show up with mysterious things. We don't know who they're from. They're not mysterious things, but they're dog treats. Come here, Waldo. Waldo, where's that boy? Ah, he always makes me work. See what that boy's doing. Waldo, come here and get your chew. I'm right here, silly. Waldo. Waldo. Look at him. He's looking at the office window. Waldo. <laughs> Waldo. Hey, I'm down here, silly man. Waldo. 
You getting you losing your hearing in your old age? Here, get your two. Lily, you already had yours, so don't act like you cheated. It's not a you don't chew it all up at once, you just lay down and chew on it. You'll figure it out. You already had yours. Alright, let's get to work. Alright, on the menu today. Gone. 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 I ain't gonna be able to get all that, so I'll have to cover that up with something else. It does not match with what I'm doing. It has to go. Look here, guys. I'll gain three inches of room. So I'm gonna, and then sheetrock. I looked at the old pictures of sheetrock behind it. It's in good condition, other than having a service panel right here. I'll have to figure out what to do with that, see if I can't remove it and then patch it. But this needs to go, this needs to go. I've already removed this, so this is gonna look silly. I know, I kinda like it too, but you can see right through to the other, you know, let's make it look better, let's make it look brighter. I mean, the whole thing already is just so much brighter. And it's still gonna be framed in cedar. So I think what I got in my mind is to get this all off here, and that'll give me more cedar to finish this with. Because these are some nice long pieces. Another problem is this, you know, when you do stuff like this in the country, well, that's little rodent trails back in there, you know. Can't have that. So I want a nice flat wall, and this is going to give me more room. So let's get on it. Let's get on it. Let's get on it. take these off it's in good shape it's textured but man it gives me a lot more space in here and this is one of the walls we did not the uh, sheetrock we did not I, I say we my brother was with me the first month we didn't tear this out he was with me when the tear out because it was a closet this was a pantry came out to here and that wall was in good shape because the door had been closed the nicotine didn't get on the wall but we did put kills on there, so oh lord, now I got two, four, six screws per board here. I gotta get them off. I got more screws than I know what to do with. And uh, the only thing is, I when I put my metal up, I only measured to that, so I'm gonna have probably that big of a gap on the end. But I got a solution to that. Just use a big fat board on the outside. And that'll take care of that. But I'm so glad I did this. I mean, 
this is I mean it's just all sticky in here from the polyurethane it probably wasn't quite dry none of this is but that is for some reason don't know why all right let me get this off get these uh, purling things off and then we're in business then I continue to that wall and then get on with the mudding hey well I've got to put a piece of sheetrock up in the kitchen here I was looking at that it shouldn't be that hard all right, let me get busy again. I'll be back when it's done. Dude, what are you doing to my walls? Who the hell are you? Past people don't come back. You're destroying it all that work. I'm going to kick your ass. Oh, oh, hours that went into this. I love this wall. You ain't touching nothing. You go away. I'm gonna get you. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't care. Get out of my house. You're from the past. <sighs> workout let's check it out guys Woo, I like it I like it a lot just imagine that painted with cedar trim going around and I've got to get this box out of here and I was looking at it yes it's gross in there I need to vacuum that out looks like it's only held in by these nails it ain't even drove all the way in one there and then it should pull out I hope I don't know what these are. It might be something through the other side. I don't know. I thought I tried to remove it. Well, I didn't try to remove it because I knew it was just going to cover, uh, do a whole new electrical. There's proof I ran all new electric. Uh, that just makes things look so much bigger. And so I will have to patch this up. I'm halfway thinking of just getting two new sheets of sheetrock and covering it up completely. And I may tear this off. I, I really don't want to get into a whole lot more work. You know, it's textured just a little bit. Uh, I may just texture the rest of these. It's been a long time since I've done that. Uh, or just not worry about it. But, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that sheetrock. It's been killed, put kills on it. And, and I've got some patching to do here. This is where the pantry wall came out. So that's why there's no sheetrock there. Uh... I could certainly fix that. I'll probably just tear all this out and put new in because that's in pretty rough shape there. Well, there we go. And that give me probably that much more space. You can see the original baseboard down there. That's coming out. That's lame. Oop, I missed one. All right. It, let's go back here and just kind of gander. Man, it just makes things look so much. Let's walk in like we're walking in with some groceries. Grocery walk, grocery walk, grocery walk. Wow, Mike, it sure is bright up in this place. Grocery walk, grocery walk. I know! I know! Let's get busy. I ain't got time to sit here. I've told you guys before, I ain't got time to sit here and yak with you. All right, guys, I got it loose. You think there's a cache of hidden money back here? Woo, that'd be cool. But I pretty much guarantee you there ain't.
free. I was, there was I, well, I had a hard time getting them nails out. And uh, so I took the sawzall, I was gonna cut them and it was putting sparks. I'm like, no, do not do that. All right, I need some more cutters. All right, that's certainly gonna be easier to fix. Uh, I just swept. Where's my wire cutters? Ah, thank goodness that's out of there. Your! Anybody living down in there? Need a flashlight. There we go. Nothing but a war. Hey, man. Now there is no war. Hey, man. Is there an outlet on this wall? No, there ain't, but you know what? There can be. Now that I got access, I can put an outlet on this wall. I believe I will. Because I can go right into that junction box right there. How many things are in that junction box? Just two. Well, yeah, just three. Just four. Uh, nah, I don't need an outlet here. Alright, the box is out. Tuck that up in there. We'll be good to go. Alright, I was kind of looking at that wondering, well, maybe I could do something with that. Put like a recessed shelf, but... You know, that kind of thing went out in the 60s. So I'm just going to make a patch for it. Uh, if you've ever made one of them, it's pretty simple. You measure you measure the dimensions here. Yeah, it's a little damaged, but I, and then you leave two or three inches here as a flap, and you strip out the, the sheetrock part, but you leave the paper layer. Then you push it in, and then you mud it all in, and it uh, works out real good. And I'll probably just I'll put a... S small strip of something here just to hold it in they're easy to do uh we're just about done with what i'm gonna everything else i'm gonna do in the destruction phase i gotta get that piece of trim off there now this wall here uh i gotta think on because this is not gonna be a simple wall well you know first of all i got the cabinet there but behind this wall there is no sheetrock this used to be the back door so there is a back door I don't even know what I did with it. Gee, there's a knot hole. Yeah, it's just stud framing and insulation. So I'm going to leave that alone for now. Uh, I may put that board back up there and paint that. Who knows? Yeah, but the metal has to go. We're, we're, but I'm not going to tackle that today. Let's just get this part done. Uh, as you know, this all needs to be framed in. But I need to get onto the mudding and get this sheetrock in this kitchen hung. Now, I was looking at that. I'm like, how am I going to get screws in behind this cabinet? But I see I can access it down here and I can access it up there. That's all it needs is a couple. And uh, this I can screw in good. I got to pull my wiring through a hole. Probably center of this. I wish I would have put that over a little more. But I've got enough here that I've got enough to play with. And then I'm hoping that sheet rock, yeah, sheet rock will slip behind here. And I'll be able to attach it somehow down there. Even if it doesn't have any screws in it, it's still going to be tight from this. So, that'll look good. Because I do not want to tear out this cabinet. I like it. And my drawers, oh God, look at all the dust. My drawers are there. That needs a side put on it. But I am going to build a cabinet here. So, I'm going to get this up today. And maybe get that patched up. But I'm going to start mudding one way or another. Man, the difference. It just looks so much wider. It is wider. That's why. <laughs> and I, I can show you. It came out to about here. Because I would have never done this this way. Now all I have to do here is just put a one of them pieces of cedar there. And, and it covers all that up. Well, I just ripped that old 2 by 4 out, didn't I? What went on there? But uh, soon this will all come together. It won't look like a Frankenstein house. I always got this stupid thing on. I just got done doing electrical. And you're going, I thought you was done with electrical. Nope. Remember, we had to hang the fan. Where do you see this, guys? 
I know I wasn't gonna show it but I gotta make videos and it has to go up now before I put the wood up so I'm not one of them bean channels I don't keep beans and secrets that annoys me I am not a bean keeper so let's I spill every bean I can get my hands on let's go back here where's my remote Oh, another remote to lose. Okay, let's turn around. Oh, look at that thing. And I mean, it's blowing. Yeah, let's see, I haven't learned everything yet, but you can change the colors, the brightness. Woo, that dude's bright. And it's a little crooked because I don't have the wood on the, I don't have the metal stiffened up yet. But it ain't even wobbling or nothing. That'll straighten up. I'll straighten that up once I get the wood up there. Uh, it's got a remote control. That's not even close to what how fast it is. Man, that little blade puts, and it's a clear blade. It puts out some stuff now. Uh, yeah, I got. It's got a nightlight mode. Look at that. Look at that. Goes down. Then when you want to come back to daylight, you get, oh, there's another mode. Look at that. Oh, now I'm learning how all the different colors. That is cool. I'm gonna love it. Man, it just brightens things up even more. I'm playing with the remote if you guys see it changing. Go back to nightlight. Damn. Man, does that, that puts out more air than that big old fan I had up there. And look how low profile that thing is. Cool. Yep. Let me get under here and do it. Give it the test. Mm. That'll blow that away from the smoke alarm. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. We'll go ahead and end the video here. <coughs> the last two have been really long. But I wanted to get this thing up here today and get this stuff tore off. So let's do a recap. I tore all the wood off that wall. That's going to be repaired. That's going to be patched. It's going to be painted, trimmed in cedar. Of course, we'll get the door jams. We're going to, I'm going to think on what I'm going to do here. I know I can get most of them boards off, but those up there, I'd probably have to cover up with something or cut them with a saw. I don't really want to do all that. I may just take this cabinet. Now, there's an idea. Take this cabinet all the way to the top and hide that. And then all I got to deal with is this wall here. So that's the plan. Still got to get the, all the hardware on the cabinets. We're going to get that and get the doors adjusted. I've never adjusted the cabinet doors. As you can see, they don't shut. But now that they're dried up good, they will. And so I'm going to start mudding. I'm not going to film that. That's boring. What happened there? Oh, no. Oh, I kicked the thing. I like my light. Look at that. A lot of light bright. Well, it's, it's going through the modes. I hit the remote too quick. I got to get some batteries, man. Every time I get something new, it's got them same little batteries, and I got to rob them from something else. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I will leave you. I will leave my fans with a fan. Luke, I am your father. Happy trip.